first talk of my times. Dear our beloved fans and friends, today we have a very special guest speaker, His Excellency Mr. Jack Pale, the Ambassador of France to the Kingdom of Cambodia. Bonjour and good day, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you for visiting at Khmer Times. And how are you today? <laughs> I'm very, uh, very pleased to be here for the first time in visiting Khmer Times and uh, also very pleased to answer your question and to, di to have this dialogue with you. Thank you, Ambassador. So, uh, Ambassador, could you please enlighten us on your career as a diplomat and mm -hmm. uh, when you were appointed as an ambassador in which country have mm -hmm. you served and also your last posting? In fact, I um, I'd started my career 26 years ago and I was the desk officer for Cambodia in Paris. Mm -hmm. So it was in 1995, as you know, just a few years after the Paris Peace Agreement. And there was a time where the, the, all the relation between the Kingdom of Cambodia and France was resuming. Uh, I had the privilege to come to visit the, the, the country twice, in 1995 and in 1996. And I spent the three first years of my career on Cambodia at a time where the relation between um, the two countries was very, very dense because there was this period of reconstruction. There was the two prime ministers at that time. They used to come often to, to Paris. I had the privilege to meet with many ministers, including Mr. Keichon, who is the, that time was the minister for economy and uh, in, uh, finance and economy. So, you know, it, my, my first experience as a young diplomat was Cambodia. And so you can imagine that today I'm very pleased to come back 26, 25 years later to be ambassador. For me, it's a it's a real pleasure and also it gives me this uh, perspective but also 25 years later I come in a very different country and uh, that makes my my mission very interesting but also at it, at it has been reported by your newspaper to last week we welcomed the doctors the Cambodian doctors trained in France and just to realize that this is the, the result of 25 years of cooperation uh, when I arrived, I visited also in 25 years uh, ago, I visited the, the Hôpital Calmet, I visited the French the school, I visited the Institut Pasteur, all those were at the beginning of the reconstruction. And I'm very impressed by to see that today this cooperation brought so many good results. Thank you, Ambassador. Uh, so, uh, in your opinion, what is the level of uh, bilateral relations between uh, France and Cambodia, and how can it be enhanced? Yeah. yeah, I mean, the relation between our two countries is a very long one. <laughs> I, it's not necessary to remind this very... The relation started more than 100 years ago. and uh, But, you know, I think we have a very close relation in terms... First of all, we. We still share language. Francophonie is still some an asset, and it has, as you know, many members of the government uh, they are using French, and so we have this affinity, this proximity, and the fact that we share this long history. So the relation is, I think, very good, and it also it's, um, I would say, good in many different sectors. It's not only economy. We are not the first economic partner of Cambodia, for sure, but uh, still we have a, a large number of uh, enterprises, business uh, activities, big or big size or small size. As you know, we are very involved in the industry of tourism in Cambodia, which is for the nowadays suffering a bit because of the pandemic. Pandemia. But we also we have the French Institute, we have all the cooperation in terms of research, in terms in um, in science, we uh, mentioned the Institut Pasteur. Um, at the French Institute, we have a cinema. We bring culture. We try to also to to work with young contemporary artists from Cambodia. So I would say the relation is very diverse and very strong. And I would say very based on the uh, confidence. We are. I think there's a, we are trusting ourselves. I think, and that's something. Thank you, Ambassador. So. Uh, when we talk about the trade between the two countries and uh, what is the level of this and uh, has it suffered since uh, some incentive accorded by um, the EBA was improved? Yeah, I think the, we have more or less one billion 
uh, 1 billion USD of exchange per year. And I, I must say that it's uh, down the surplus is on in favor of Cambodia because only 1 billion 900 million is going to France and 100 million is coming from France. So I think it's a, it's a relation. As you know, we are buying a lot of garments, textiles, bicycles, and yeah, also agricultural products. And uh, we are sending here pharmaceutical products and uh, different also different uh, in different fields, but um, the relation is, is imp was improving before the pandemic. Pandi uh, to be honest, the last f uh, year was not as good as it was before. Uh, but um, I, I don't think EBA was uh, uh, the main cause of that. The main cause is the pandemic, which uh, definitely uh, impacted some exchanges. But I'm very confident that in the in the near future, and already we see a little bit of, uh, you know, we are the situation is coming back to the normal more or less. So we have we are quite concerned about tourism for sure because it's a very important sector for the for the economy of Cambodia, but it's also a sector we are where we have we are very involved in terms of uh, business uh, interest activities. So we hope that uh, we can soon as possible having more tourists come back to. Thank you, your ambassador. Um, so, uh, what France uh, consider to the FTA with Cambodia directly uh, to facilitate two-way trade and to enhance it? Yeah, yeah the, as you know, these uh, commercial trade issues are in the competence of the European Union, the Commission. So, uh, we are part of the European Union. So, we are part of the discussion, but the decision is is uh, more on the competence of the EU. And uh, definitely, we favor this, and uh, I'm sure that in the in near future that it might happen. What I want to stress, maybe, is that Cambodia still be part of the LDCs country as a free access to the European market. Mm -hmm. So I see that uh, Cambodia is signing, ratifying a lot of free trade agreement with many countries in the region, and I think it's good. But to be honest, the most open market for the time being is the one of the EU. The issue is when Cambodia will get out of the LDCs category because your country is, uh, is economy, its economy is developing, so you might get out of this category. And by being out of this category, you will lose some advantages. And that's an issue I think we need to, to address. Uh, it might happen in a few years. And I think that's uh, something which might help in the future to have a free trade agreement. But for the time being, <coughs> I must say that um, I'm very happy that Europe is very open to Cambodia economy. So. Thank you. Uh, so as you mentioned above, uh, Cambodia main exports and France main imports. What is the volume of this? Volume of this? No, I mean. Uh, in the main import from France is what, as, as I mentioned earlier, it's pharma uh, pharmaceutical product, which is more or less one third of all the imports from France. And then you have uh, uh, agro product, uh, processed uh, food products, you know, the, because France is quite strong in terms of uh, agro industry. So we have a lot. Of, and then we have ma electronic and mechanical equipment. But from, uh, but mainly it's as mentioned pharmaceutical. Also, sometimes it didn't happen last year, but we have also the airplanes, uh, you know, the airplanes, mm -hmm. because as you know, all the companies uh, from Cambodia are flying on Airbus, and France is part of this uh, consortium Airbus, so it's uh, an important sector. But and uh, and for the export of Cambodia to France, you have mainly, uh, as I said, text textile, clothing, garments. But also um, uh, agro-processed food somehow, <laughs> so it's an exchange bit of uh, different products between France and uh, Cambodia. But also, you you become to start uh, you start to be a very high producer of bicycles. Bicycles, and, yeah, yeah. And we buy a lot. And as you know, bicycle is is uh, developing very fast everywhere in the world, including in Cambodia, but also in Europe in cities and people are more and more using bicycles, which is a good news, by the way. They tend to use the bicycle, yeah. yeah. 
Thank you, Ambassador. And for the next question is that in the sector of uh, capacity building, how much has France contributed uh, and in terms of bilateral development uh, project? What is uh, the status of this? You know, one of the priority of our cooperation with, with the Kingdom of Cambodia is, I would say, human resources, human capital. So we are training a lot. I mentioned doctors, but not only. We have also strong relation with in, in, uh, um, ITC Institute, sorry, with the Institute of Technology of Cambodia, mm -hmm. ITC. In, and then we, have, we are welcoming uh, students, in Cambodian students in France, and it's very interesting to know that despite the, the pandemic, the numbers of students didn't went down. So we, we put an emphasis on the, you know, the capital, human capital but also on the development, sustainable development. As you know, we have here the, uh, the AFD, l'Agence Française de Développement, which is a development agency, the French development agency, which is uh, uh, providing loans in issue in sectors of linked to the development, sustainable development. Mm -hmm. And that's something which is for us very important. As you know, uh, the country is developing very fast, but when you have a model of development, you have to make sure that this is sustainable. And uh, added on this, you have the, the challenges of uh, climate change. And as we know, Cambodia is uh, one of the countries the most prone to climate change, climate change impact. So that all the sectors, different sectors on which we are investing in the relation with Cambodia, it's not always very visible. It's not big bridges. It's not big uh, buildings. It's something less visible, but we think very important for the future of the country and for the future of... Uh, so, uh, this is the very uh, special question. Would the Embassy of France consider working with Khmer Times as a media partner and uh, as with the French Chamber of Commerce and as we are with the agency and countries like Singapore, um, Amcham or Eurotram, etc. And would the Embassy take the lead uh, or be a bridge for this? Yeah, I had a long discussion with uh, your yeah. publisher, and we mentioned this issue. I mean, we are we are open to work with all the media in uh, in Cambodia, but it's true that maybe on some when we have some specific issues, we might be interested to to work close more closely with uh, the Khmer Times. One of the possibilities, the French Institute. You know, we are the only country in in Phnom Penh to have such an institute where. We can, uh, you know, gather people around culture, like cinema, like films, like exhibitions, mm -hmm. and uh, this institute will soon uh, celebrate its 30th anniversary in Cambodia. So maybe that's an issue, an example of events where we would be happy to promote what we are doing, yeah. making our activities better known through uh, media. And uh, Khmer Times is one of the media we we need to work with, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So what is uh, your diplomatic and your personal mission here in uh, Cambodia? Oh, I think the, my personal uh, idea is, you know, to make this, to make this relation, you know, developing and st strengthening. Um, I think if I compare to 25 years ago, I mean, Cambodia is much more integrated in the region and that's normal. And, uh, and it's a good thing because the region is very dynamic. Dynamic, but we need to keep this pace of our of, uh, of our bilateral relation. But also now, uh, if also I compare to 25 years ago, the relation we have is also going through the e relation with the EU. So my 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 wish here is to to be able to bring all the different things we are doing in a you know in a more visible. W Place and to make you know make sure that the added value of the relation between our two countries is very well known and very well understood by everybody. Thank you, thank you, Ambassador. Okay. So, uh, f as we know that France and Cambodia have a very special relationship, and which that back to the pre-colonial days. So, would it not be possible for historic uh, relations to be the catalyst? for the future relation and some uh, special bond between the two countries to be developed? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm very surprised and positively surprised when I'm traveling in the country to meet so many, so many initiatives born from our relation. You know, I'd let's 
tell me a few examples. I, I went to Siem Reap, I went to the circus, and the Far Circus, which is very well known in Cambodia, was born in, you know, in Thailand in the camps through a French initiative, and 25 years later it's, it's, it's a very important institution in your country. I think about Sipar, also is a publisher, it's, they are publishing books, and it's also at the, at the beginning, at the origin, a French initiative born in the camps in the 90s, beginning of the 90s, end of the 80s. So, so, and I met so many uh, places where I see Cambodians and, and French working together in tourism, but not only. We here, we have two main, two important responsibilities. We are co-chairing the International Committee of Coordination for the Preservation of Encore. So, you know, the ICC Encore. So it's a very we are co-chairing this with Japan and that's for us very important, but also we are co-chairing the group of friends of the Tribunal of Khmer Rouge, which is also, I think, uh, very important and very honored for me to, to be in that position of gathering the group of friends, because this is an issue which is important for the, for the not only for the past, uh, but also for all the people in Cambodia. So, you see, we have many different responsibilities, thanks to the openness of the country, to bring others to help to solve issues and uh, and that is coming from our historical relation so so you see that today we we see the the results of this long long and uh, confident relation we have with your country thank you ambassador so uh, for my very last question is that uh, what has been your impression of cambodia since your arrival here no i think I, we have been very well welcomed by, by, by all the people I meet. I mean, the French community, the people in the embassy, but also the ministers. I already had the, the privilege to have met many. First, obviously, I present my credential to the king, His Majesty the King, and I, pay, I had a visit to the Queen Mother but also all the ministers I met, and I feel that we are, I've, I'm very welcome, very well welcome, and, uh, yes. and uh, so I think it's quite easy to, to have relation, interpersonal relation in your country, so that helps a lot, the work of an ambassador. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real pleasure, I mean, to, to work, and also to, I move, also I already move quite a lot in the, in the country, and uh, it's always a pleasure to to meet with new 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 interlocutors, and and it's yeah, it's very easy. Thank That's you. all of this. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, so, would you like to add anything more? No, I just uh, you know on the first question uh, on the, you, I said that I started with uh, with uh, Cambodia, and you know my my career. I just mentioned the beginning, working with Cambodia. Yes. Yeah, but uh, just after I, I spent uh, most of my career was spent in Asia. In it's, Asia, it's yes. Mainly in China, um. and also I devoted uh, quite a lot, uh, many years on some global issues, especially human rights, humanitarian affairs, yes. and health issues. So I, I work both on the bilateral diplomacy, as we say, but also on the multilateral diplomacy. So I was posted in Geneva to the UN and. Mm -hmm. And in China, uh, and just before uh, becoming the ambassador here, for five years I worked for the International Committee of the Red Cross on mm, humanitarian issues. Yes. So that's Thank you. Thank you okay. so much, Ambassador, for uh, visiting at Khmer Time and especially your participation in our crosstalk program. Thank, thank you. you for the invitation. Thank you. Yeah. Dear beloved fan and friends, thank you for watching, and please stay safe and have a good day. Thank you.